What's up guys, this is Charlie your writer from techinform.us and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the uh, letterbox or widescreen effects in your videos in Final Cut Pro 10. But before we get into that subject matter, there's a very important um, subject that I need to address. As this YouTuber over here, I show you games and tech. I'm giving a little shout out to him. Um, he has a very nice assortment of uh, different kinds of videos, all on uh, Windows, uh, Call of Duty, we all love Call of Duty, uh, Mac, all, all these different kind of videos. And I know um, if you're one of my subscribers and you're looking for um, different kinds of videos, you definitely find lots of his videos uh, very useful. Um, does a lot of um, app reviews, as, do, as we all do, um, all technology people do. And so he's got a very nice channel, um, nice uh, channel background. I definitely uh, would recommend uh, you checking him out. I uh, strongly recommend. I've watched all of his videos, very nice. And he's down in my associates box. Um, if you don't know what that is, go on my channel and look down there. There's a few people, a few of my friends down there. So, um, definitely go check out him. I will put his link to his channel in the video description. Um, now, on to the um, Final Cut Pro thing. Um, here we have... Um, my computer's a little slow because I have a Minecraft server running and a bunch of other junk. Um, here we have just a basic... Uh, footage of the Wenger watch review um, that was on previously on my channel and so as you can see it has a 16 by 9 um, has a 16 by 9 um, what is it called uh, aspect ratio so that means is that it's not widescreen there are no black bars or anything and there's a feature in Final Cut Pro 10 that allows you to do this you can select your clip Go over to the, uh, I believe it's the uh, transitions and type letterbox. Or maybe the, uh, one of these, <laughs> excuse me, and type in the letterbox and then apply the effect um, through there. But there's one problem with that. If you want to see, you want to um, add a transformation to the clip, crop it, or uh, add a distortion to the clip. Um, the black bars are going to travel with the clip, so let's say you were to zoom the clip in, uh, the black bars would you know, go with it, they, you wouldn't just drag it in. So which is why I found a nice, um, uh, what is it, um, hmm, where is it, effects, maybe if you get a letter, I don't even know, Can't rem I, I can't even remember where it is. But that's not really the. Uh, it's, it's not really the. Uh, oh, here it is. Letterbox. Here's the effect. So let's see. We can drag this onto our clip. It will take a little bit to render. Add that effect, and then as you can see, we have a the nice letterbox effect. Now, if you're not adding any effect um, or distortions to your clip, that'd be absolutely fine. Um, it's it's easier to do than the method I'm going to show you. But if you want to add distortions, like if you pause it. Let's say we want to um, split the clip, go to the blade tool, split it there, and uh, split it over here. Let's say we want to add a distortion to this one clip. Go to here, select the clip, and we want to zoom in. Um, the scrolling feature is not working, apparently. Um, but if we were to zoom, take the corner um, and zoom in, um, as you can see, the boxes go with it. So if you zoom all the way in, it's not, it's the box to go with it. You're not going to have that a uh, nice letterbox effect. And that gets really annoying when you're in the process of editing. So what you can do, um, I'll go ahead and edit, um, take off that effect, is I have, I, have this, I did not make up this idea, but I did make the actual um, uh, file that we're going to use. Um, I've made a widescreen cinematic overlay uh, file in Photoshop with a layer of transparency. This, so that means 
uh, you can put it on top of your clips and still have video. So you can go to this link right here and download it. I have up uploaded it to Mediafire. And right here, I'll open up in preview, and there it is. It just looks like crap. Um, that's because it has a layer of transparency. So, um, just, uh, oops, open up your downloads folder. And here it is. I can see, you can vaguely see the uh, layer of transparency in uh, the white part. So, if we're going to import that into Final Cut Pro 10, here it is right here. Um, import it and apply it to the master clip just like that, so we can advance it forward. Now, as you can see, um, it does have that weird, um, you know, it's not right, it's in the middle. So what we can do, we can go to the uh, transformation, um, go to the arrow right here, and, oops, that was completely wrong, don't do that. Make sure you click on this button up here, not sure what that does, it just has it straight keeps an aspect ratio and then go up here. Now we have a nice uh, letterbox effect and uh, we can zoom, let's say we want to make it all the way on the out of the clip. There we go. And then we can take the clip and then add any sort of adjustments we want to it um, without having the, um, well, without having the uh, clip, dang it. As you can see, like, um, we can have and make all different sorts of adjustments um, without having the black boxes uh, go away. See, let's say. Um, and we're going to use that, for, this is going to have to be used a lot. If you're going to use the uh, 16, I mean, the um, this aspect ratio um, with the black lines, you're going to need to position clips a lot, which doesn't really matter because um, it'll just make it easier. It's it's most efficient way to do uh, things in Final Cut Pro 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helped anybody who um, wanted to know how to do this. Um, this is good for making short films or anything of that era. Um, era. No, that was stupid. Why did I say that? I don't know. So thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Go check out I Show You... Um, the guy... <laughs> I Show You Games and Tech. I'm pretty sure that's his channel name. Yep, right here. I Show You Games and Tech. Go check out his channel and... I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.